Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're going to introduce you to Godridge, claimed by many for being the prettiest town in Canada. Godridge is a charming town located in the shores of Lake Huron. Known for its beautiful beaches, historic architecture, friendly community. In this video, we'll be showing you some of the best places to visit while visiting Godridge. First stop is the historic downtown. Godridge is a downtown Ionic Square. Technically, it's actually an octagon. It's a one-way traffic circle with boutique shops, restaurants, and services with county courthouse at its center. On weekends, this area hosts the weekly farmer's market. Next stop for the beaches. Godrich boasts some of the most stunning beaches along Lake Huron. The first beach is the main beach, also known as Cove Beach. This is the most popular and well-known beach in Godrich. It's often referred to as the Cove. The Cove Beach is located in the heart of Godrich and offers a wide stretch of soft sandy shoreline along Lake Huron. Visitors can enjoy swimming, sunbathing, picnicking and walking along the picturesque boardwalk. The second beach is St. Christopher's Beach, located a bit south of the Cove Beach, near Christopher's Avenue. It's a quieter, more secluded beach compared to the Cove, making it a great spot for seeking more peaceful beach experience. The last beach is Rotary Cove Beach, it's situated in the Rotary Cove area, just west of the main beach. It's a smaller, family-friendly beach with play structure, picnic tables and grassy areas. Next stop is the Godridge Lighthouse. Sitting on top of the bluff of Coburg Street, the Godridge Lighthouse stands as the oldest lighthouse station on the Canadian shore of Lake Huron. To reach the lighthouse, you can either drive there or if you feel energetic, you can climb up 100 steps from the main beach to the top of the bluff. Although you can't enter the lighthouse itself, you can admire the ironic structure from the shoreline. It's a popular spot for photographs and enjoying the lake views as well as the spectacular sunsets. Erected in 1847, this lighthouse has fascinating history. The land parcel on which it stands was sold to Queen Victoria. And then, graciously, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II sold the lighthouse and surrounding land to the town of Godrich for a total sum of one dollar. One interesting fact, Godrich is home to Canada's largest salt mine. You can admire the salt mining ships docked at the harbour by walking along the pier. Oh, Next stop is the Minnesotan Bridge, which spans the Maitland River. It's a fantastic spot for taking photographs and enjoying the natural beauty of the area. Next stop is the Huron Historic Gale. This historical jail is a national historic site and offers guided tours that provide insight into the life of the inmates and the history of the justice system in the 19th century. It's an intriguing place to visit for history enthusiasts. It opens every weekday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. As mentioned earlier, one of the most spectacular parts of visiting Godrich is the sunsets. We spend almost an entire hour admiring the beautiful sunset over Lake Huron. 